Hey guys, it's Breaksword here from actually running at stock. And for today's PCU breakdown, we're going to be looking at this extremely adequate GPU that's one of the favourites I've ever owned. My OEM edition HD7570. Well, let's jump straight in, shall we? First, this is the vCore VRM. And it's laid out quite strangely. It's a one, no, two phase, using the same MOSFETs on both the high and low side. Specifically, they are on, on semiconductor NTD4. Nine O six Ns. Each one can push up to fifty four amps per phase, that is. So that means there's a total power output of one hundred and eight amps. So how does this hold up? Well the card card itself is rated to draw up to sixty amps to watts total from the PCI Express slot. So Given that it uses exactly one volt, almost, VCore, we now know that it needs to be able to draw at least 60 amps in order to stay at stock. So that's 108 amps for 60 amp card. And at first that seems like complete overkill, but given the complete lack whatsoever of any heat sinks on the VRMs, it's not really overkill once thermals are taken into account. But now that we've done the vCore room, I thought I'd give you a basic rundown of the card's features. Starting from the back, we see a single blower fan connected to the heatsink. And this actually stays surprisingly quiet while running at stock. Uh, it also has 1 gigabyte of DDR3 VRAM, from Micron specifically, that acts as display out. And it has three display outs specifically, display point 1.2. 1.4 HDMI and dual link DVI. Specifically, however, DVI I. So that means you can use the passive DVI to VGA adapter very easily. This means effectively you'll be on any kind of monitor off this card. So, to sum this up simply, it runs perfectly at stock and even runs demanding titles like Spore and Minesweeper very effectively. So, fully recommended on my end. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and plus, plus hit the little bell icon for the algorithm. Hopefully, you'll see me next time to see how high I can score in Cinebench with my i5-6500. Of course, at stock.